Hi Stampers, this is Kim with Great Inspirations. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take an in-detail look at the stargazing suite from Stamping Up. And the Reach for the Stars bundle is included in this suite. And this includes the Reach for the Stars stamp set and the Reach for the Stars dies. And the dies do cut out the images and then they include some other um, items to die cut. And I have right here my little charts that I like to make. Here's the stamp set with everything stamped out, the astronaut. And I'm thinking that is a space shuttle. I know they have retired them, but that certainly looks like a space shuttle to me. And here are some little um, dots that you could use for asteroids or maybe put them on um, a circle to make it look like a planet with some perhaps oops, craters or just um, other detail on the planet. And then there are these little stars. And then there are greetings. Reach for the stars. Greetings, friend. You're stellar. And if I had a star for every time you brightened my day, I'd have an entire galaxy. So those are the stamps. And then here are the dies. And as I said, you can cut out the, um, we'll just call it the spacecraft, the astronaut, and then there are some flames that you can put or use for the spacecraft. And then there are little stars, but they are solid dies as opposed to being able to cut these out. I imagine you could if you could line them up correctly, but they really don't fit. So these are just um, stars you could cut out for embellishments. And then there are these two dies that cut out rings for the planets. And then these are the interior part. Now this one I would use um, maybe to put a sentiment on. This one's a bit small, but you might be able to use it for something. And then there are six circle dies in various sizes. They're basically like layering dies. And you can use them to cut out the planets. Then there are two dies that are embossing dies. And this might be difficult. Let me see if I can get this up there. But they emboss like the um, like craters that you might have on a planet. And that's this die right here and this die right here. Also, along with the stamp set and the dies, there are papers. And there is one package of specialty paper and it's called holographic trio and I'm not sure you might just see glare but two of them have a silver color and then they pick up light and kind of show off all colors this one has a slight design in it and this one does not and then there is this one that is sort of has the deep Pinks, pinkish red up into purples and then maybe to a light dark darker blue or deep purple now these come in 12 by 12 I've cut them in half just to be able to show you and there are two of each so you'll get six sheets of the holographic trio then the designer series paper here it is I really like it it's 12 by 12 and the colors included in this, there are so many. There's basic black, berry burst, blackberry bliss, blueberry bushel, crushed curry, flirty flamingo, fresh freesia, lemon lime twist, night of navy, orchid oasis, pumpkin pie, starry sky, and Tahitian tide. But I like these designs. The galaxy looking designs it makes it really easy to make a space themed card so here's this side 
on that side. Here's another one. As you can see, they're just different in the colors that are used and the way they're used. And here's the design on this side. It's the same as the previous, just a different color. Here's this one. And this one with just the stars. And some planets. And this one is very similar to the previous. More planets. And you can use the circle dies to cut these out. Not this one. These will have to be fussy cut, the ones with the rings. But the circle ones can be cut out with the dies. Um, there will not be a little border around it, but that's okay. It looks great on cards. So, like I said, you could cut those out with the dies. And then here's the last design and the back side of it. And that nice lemon lime twist. So those are the four items that come in the suite. And as I've said before, the suite, you get the bundle with the 10% off. And then, which you know, the stamp set and the dies, and then also included in this particular bundle is a specialty paper and the designer series paper. And you can order those four items with just one item number. So that makes it um, pretty easy to get all four of those items if you want all four of them. Now, here are a couple of cards that I created using this suite of products. And I have seen this card a lot of places, so I don't know who really came up with it. And I'm not really sure what people call it, but I just call it a pop-out card. Because when you open it up, some of the objects can pop up or pop out. And it looks really cute. I know you can't really see, but sitting up on a, a shelf or a table. So there's that one. And then this one is just planets. Just made some planets and right here I put a little place for happy birthday now if you didn't want to put die cut images on these spaces you can um, just put little squares with images stamped on them if you like but I just thought it was cute to have the planets and the astronaut just kind of hanging out there in space so we will walk through making this, like I say, I call it a pop-out card, and we will do this one together, and then I'm going to give you a couple tips on how I made my planets, because on this card I used the designer series paper and just cut the planets out, but on this one, now this is designer series paper, but I use cardstock. And so I'll tell you, give you a couple of tips on what I did to make them look like planets. But to make this pop-out card, I've got everything we're going to need for this one right here. Here are my images. And all my planets. Here's the flame. Okay. So we're going to need a piece of cardstock and you can use any cardstock you like and you can use any stamp set you like you don't have to use the reach for the stars you can use whatever you like but I have taken this and it is basic black it's four and a quarter by eleven scored at five and a half so we'll just fold that right now Need to grab my bone folder So there's that. And then this <clears throat> is the mechanism that makes the images pop out. So what that is, it's a strip of basic black and it is one inch by 11. And then you're going to score it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and eight and one quarter. Now all these measurements will be in my corresponding blog post. And the link to that blog post can be found in the description of this video. So what we're going to do for this, we will be folding it. 
And you start in the middle, and it's a mountain fold. Then each of these on the sides will be valley folds, so fold them up. I always use my bone folder to make sure those creases are really nice and crisp, especially for a fun fold card. So now we have a W, okay? And that is almost ready to be put inside the card, but first we are going to put the insides. So open this up. Get some adhesive. And we're going to put adhesive on both, or the designer series paper on both sides. Oops. Now let me turn it this way. It's a little easier for me to see. So there's that. And we'll add this one. And we'll line it up. And there's our inside. We're out in space. And we may as well go ahead and put our holographic paper on the front while we're at it. Actually, I'm going to use my sleeve. There we go. Or you could turn it upside down. There we go. Now we're going to take our strip Remember, we want it to be like a W. So we're going to put these on. And these are three quarters by uh, two and a half. There we go. Now you can make a decision here. You can decide to put your background planets on first, which I wasn't real happy with where I placed this um, planet with the rings, but it's, it's okay. But um, you could wait until you have this strip adhered and put your planets on. But for me, it worked out better to put them on first, so that's what I'm going to do. And I have this little partial planet. It was on the edge of the designer series paper. So we'll just put him on right over here. And then I have this itty bitty one. Put him over in space here. And my ring to planet. I think I'm going to put it up. Eh, mm, I don't know where it would be seen the best. Maybe I'll put him down here this time. We'll see how that looks. And then I have a little orange planet. We'll put him up here. We'll just swap him around. Mm. There we go. Okay, now we're ready for our W. So what we'll do is we'll put adhesive. 
And I am using the um, Stampin' Seal Plus because I want it to hold really well. So here's our W, and I've put adhesive on the left leg of the W. We'll fold it up, and we're going to put it right there. Then we're going to put some adhesive the, right on the back of the fourth little leg of our W. Close the card. And there we go. Eh, I don't know. I should have moved should have moved this ring planet up a little bit, but that's okay. It'll be fine. So now we're going to put our astronaut on and we just need to put some adhesive kind of wherever we want to put him on the strip. Now we have to be sure that he's not going to show. We don't want to put him down too low or too high and he just needs to fit right in there. Okay? And so now we'll get another planet. And again, we just put adhesive sort of in the middle. And then we have the reach for the stars. And then our happy, oh, I felt adhesive just a bit. Yep. Let me get just a little teeny tiny piece of something. I think I have a little piece of cardstock right here. And I mean little, I just tore it off. But I'm going to just put that, slip that down there so that adhesive won't make our planet stick to our card base. Okay. Now we have the happy birthday. And there's the inside of our card. And it just closes up. You open it. There's everything popping out. So now we'll do the front. We have your Stellar. And then the Space Shuttle. And I'm going to put just a dab of liquid glue right here at the bottom of our little spacecraft, I guess I'm calling it. I have to tell you something funny. When I showed this stamp set to my husband, I said, I just, I don't understand why there is a space shuttle included. And he said, well, it's a retro set. He said, see, there's, it's from the 80s. There's a space shuttle and there's the MTV astronaut. So, huh, okay, I, I'll go with that. Sounds good to me. But um, now you can use any dimensionals you want on this. I just happen to have the smaller ones, the minis, and these are the black ones. We'll put this right there. We just have a couple more planets. Oops. There's that. And then just for a little more sparkle, I took some of the rhinestones and I colored them with the Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends. And I, I used the darker colored one. And the Stampin' Blends, they come in a two-pack, a light one and a dark one. So I used the darker one. And I'm just going to place these on here just to give it a little more sparkle, maybe look like some stars in the distance. There we go. And I believe I put some inside as well. I did. Okay. So we'll open this up. I'm going off the out of the camera, aren't I? Put a larger one. 
And then I had one down there, but I don't think I need it, but I might put it right here. Hmm. There we go. I might put this one down there. So there we go. And that's just how easy it is to make that pop-out card. So there's that one. And now let's bring this card back in and talk a little bit about when you uh, make your own planets. Let's go first with this ringed planet. Now this one wasn't too um, difficult, and you can't really tell, but the maybe you can. <laughs> the ring, the front of it is popped up. So I use the larger planet die, and I cut out a planet, and I cut out the larger ring, just so maybe you could see more easily. So I got my ring where I wanted it, flipped it over, and then I used just some regular old tape. I taped it on the back, flipped it over, and I got out my dimensionals, but I didn't use the little little ones here. I used the edge. I just cut out a little piece of the foam. It doesn't take much at all. Took the backings off. And then oh, just picked up my planet. Put the dimension on it and press down. And there you go. Has a little dimension to it. Now for these planets, I just used some sponging. So I have a planet here. I use the, again, the largest circle die that comes with the dies. And I cut out two planets. This one, I use the embossing dies to get these little designs on it. This one is just plain. And it is granny apple green. So I'm going to take some granny apple green ink and a sponge dauber. And I'm just gonna get some ink on it. And then all I did, well, first I went around the edges. And even on the um, planet I made with the DSP, I used pumpkin pie and went around the edges just to kind of give it more dimension. Then I just decided well, what, what kind of a design, what, what features do I want this planet to have? So I decided, eh, every planet has basically poles. Well, my grandson may disagree with me on that, but... Oh my goodness, he knows all about all the planets. And the dwarf planets. And exoplanets. So I just went along the top and the bottom... And I just kind of went in a circular motion, and then I kind of, do I like that? No. I need to get some more here. And then I just kind of went back and forth like that until I got something that I kind of liked. Just the same at the top. And then for the center, I just kind of went, I didn't go straight across. I kind of dipped it down, not quite a U, but sort of. And there we go. There are some features on the planet. So there's that one. And now here, we'll get out the Tahitian Tide ink. And another sponge dauber. And I will go around the edges. Looked a little bit of a Tahitian tide ink on there. It's okay, it's a planet feature. But this would be how I did these two. Just went around the edge and then I took my dauber and kind of just went over the area where the dies the um, embossing is. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. And again, if you want to kind of add the polar areas, you can add a little more darkness there and a little there. And there's your planet. Now, as for this little one right here, all I did was basically the same thing I did on this one. I added some ink, but then I took, let me grab it here, um, a Stampin' Write marker. And I just made, here I'll use the Tahitian Tide since that's a marker I grabbed. I just made little dots here and there. And it gave it a nice little design. So that's how I did um, the rings and the um, embossed planets and then just made my own design on a planet. Now, I told you the little story about my husband and how this is a retro set with the MTV astronaut and the space shuttle. Well, that got me to thinking about um, other space theme stamp sets that I have that are stamping up and I thought of three I may have another one or two but I thought of these three um, instantly and this one is from just a couple years ago so you might have it it's called stellar birthday and I think honestly with the the planets and um, some of the other um, images in the reach for the star stamp set some of these things, some of these images would go really well, like maybe these planets. You could even use this little rocket ship. But what I was looking for was the greetings. And this does have reach for the stars, but it also has have a stellar birthday. You're out of this world. Celebrating you is a blast. I love that. There's no one like you in the whole universe. So if you happen to still have the stamp set, you could use it um, with the Reach for the Star stamp set. I always like to, when I can, combine what I have with what I get new. It just seems like it makes my stamps or uh, tools or um, cardstock and those kind of supplies, it, they just, um, you know, they're more versatile. Now, another stamp set that goes back, ooh, like maybe 2013, 2014, is the Blast Off stamp set. And this I always thought was so cute for the kids in my life because they all loved outer space. And hope your birthday is out of this world. And the 10987654321 blast off. Thought that was kind of cute. And of course, there are some other images that might be um, cute with um, to use with the Reach for the Star stamp set. And then if you're like me and you keep stamp sets from a way back when. There's this one, it's Greetings Earthling, and I think it is from 2009 maybe, but it only has one um, greeting, and it says Greetings Earthling, and I really, I really like that. I thought that was cute, but you could use, um, with the planets and all, you could use some of these little critters. So, if you do have, look, look through your stamps, See if you have any other space themed stamps and just incorporate them into um, your cards when you use the Reach for the Star stamp set. Again, because, I mean, any of those images I just showed you, you could use with these planets. I just think they're so cute. And I love the designer series paper. Just the perfect background for space themed cards. And then here's the one we just made. And like I said, the measurements and, oh, all the supplies and a few uh, tips will be uh, found on my corresponding blog post. And that is found, the link to it is found in the description of this video. Well, thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, stamp happy.